Hey guys, you ever hear of the beast? Well, I thought it was a good opportunity to open up the box and show you what's in it. Um, I really like it because it's kind of quiet, okay? It's uh, acquired in a shop vac, acquired in a Craftsman models. Uh, that's the only ones I'm familiar with. And it's also the large one, it's a 12 gallon vacuum. So let me show it to you. All right guys, that's the beast. And like I said, I've had one for a while now. But this is the second one. I actually bought this one because I like the first one so much. I am not, uh, you know, sponsored by the Beast, by VacMaster, or none of them, uh, nothing. I'm not sponsored by New Milford Hardware, New Milford, where I bought the thing. I just picked it up because it was a deal. It was cheaper than I'd seen it online. And I knew I wanted another one because Connor tends to take one or the other. Connor's always taken my extra tools, so I wind up with, I wind up buying a lot of doubles. I can't complain too much. He buys his own tools too. Anyway, so this is what's in the box. The vacuum, the instructions. Yeah, who needs that? All right, guys, so I got it out of the box. Got a couple screws here. I don't remember what they're for. I think they're the screw legs on once I stick them on. This is fairly light. That's another thing I like about it. The thing doesn't weigh up crazy heavy. Nice new filter. The filter comes off pretty easy. It's just like a quarter turn thing. Don't make a liar out of me. There we go. Like a quarter thing, quarter turn thing, and then you can stick it right back in there and give it its quarter turn back, and you're good. Instead of the screw on ones that uh, they strip and whatnot. Anyway, it comes with what looks to be a HEPA filter. I don't know. I didn't read the literature on it, but it's a, it's a tight filter. Which means, unless you want to destroy your filter, you want to use bags. Especially when you're doing dusty stuff like I am today. Where the hose attaches to the vacuum cleaner, it's got a little lock. I don't know if you can see that. A little lock on there. I kind of like that too, because you just push it on there, give it a little twist, and it don't just pull out, which is nice. The hose isn't better than a regular hose. Shop vac, all the other ones got hose that are just as good. It's got the two wands, just like you would normally see on a shop vac or any other brand. Crevice tool. Got one of these standard suckers. And we've got the wet sucker. This is the one with the uh, squeegee attached to it. It's got a squeegee and a brush. It also comes with a little silencer. I've always found the silencers, they quiet it down. But they also slow down the velocity and make them not suck as well. So I generally don't use them. And it calls it a bonus. A two pack of these like 15 or 20 bucks. So I think there's just one in this bag. I'll be installing it right away. All right, we got our four wheels. Okay, I'm just gonna flip this over. Put the wheels on it. The wheels on my other one that I've been using for months seem to be holding up better. These wheels had bent and then they wouldn't roll anymore. The, the ones that I, that I have on my other beast, they're working better, they're, they're holding up better. Of course, people, you know, you, you work in construction or things like that, and people tend to be a little rough on stuff. They slam them down when they shouldn't. All right, I'm just gonna use a Phillips screwdriver to uh, drop these screws in. Yeah, I don't wanna pick it up every time and have the feet fall off, so we'll put the retaining screws in. It'll only take a second. Depending on what you're doing, maybe you don't want the retaining screws. I do. So I'm putting all these retaining screws right in there to hold the wheels in place. You can suck water up with it. Right over here it's got a plug. You take that plug out, screws out to drain it. Keeps you from hauling 12 gallons of water around. Of course it won't fill up 12 gallons of water. But you probably got 8 gallons in there so that's over, you know, that's almost 70 pounds. Alright, looks like I got them all on there. Next thing we're gonna do, since I have no shortage of dirt around this place, is suck up a sample pile. I'm gonna put the bag in it too. Oh, this bag's not a toy. So, uh, yeah, make sure your kids don't play with plastic bags. But I guess there's probably one person still out there that doesn't know that, so. Ooh, what's this? Did you know? Most Vac Master wet dry vacs include this one. Can use optional dust collection bag for provide extra filtration to keep all the mess contained. Make your and your cartridge's filters life easier by using dust bag for the nasty messes. Included as a complimentary dust bag, you can pick up additional bags and other accessories 
at VACMaster.com or your local or online VACMaster retailer. Wow, looks like uh, I don't know exactly who owns VACMaster. VACMaster, Lawnmaster, Armor All Utility Vacs. I didn't even know there was one. Okay, so we're going to put the bag in. That's just a matter of unfolding it a little bit. If you don't get the bag on right, it's going to pop off and then the whole bag thing is for naught. I mean, you'll have a bag full of junk and you'll also have all the dirt and dust and everything right inside your back master so it doesn't do you any good so this thing anyway to keep it from falling off it kind of plugs right over it and there's a little bit of a notch i can actually show you there's a lip here and there's like a rubber gasket here by the time i get that slid on there things should stay on pretty good and if you overfill the bag, that's another time they blow up and then you wind up with a big mess inside the vacuum. So if you plan on overfilling your bag, or which I tend to, to try to because I'm so cheap and I don't want to buy another bag. I'm having a rough time with this. I don't know why. There we go. Sticking on there from the bottom up over the top. There, we got it now. Yeah. Now I felt that go right on over. That's right here. I made sure it's pushed right to the out, outer wall of the vac. Now, this latch is right where the handles are, which is kind of handy. It's got these hoops here to hold the hose. So I put the hose on here, and then when I'm traveling, I can do this. And it holds the hose. It stores the hose for you, which is kind of nice. Really long cord, which is handy for a vacuum cleaner as you're traveling up and down the floor. You got a lot of, a lot of cord. Also, the feet have storage. So you can stick stuff onto the feet. But you know you can keep your tools all nice and handy and close by. And you can snap them right on there. And that works pretty good. Also, notice how quiet it is. That's what I really like about this thing. Yeah, it's not real hard stuff to suck up. But we'll do it. about it, it's not horribly noisy. That's without the silencer on. And this is right at the back. Now I've had shop back, so I thought my ears were going to start bleeding. This one's not so bad. Put the silencer on, see what it does. I got, I got to turn the machine off, it's blowing so hard. even quieter yet. No, you, but it's not letting as much air blow. So it probably won't suck quite as fast, would be my guess. It's still picking this stuff up pretty good. But yeah, it doesn't have the power it has. I probably wouldn't use it if I was sucking water for sure. If you're just doing light vacuuming, but that really is quiet. I mean, that's as quiet as a household. Probably even quieter in a household vacuum. I don't have a, a decibel meter. Pretty quiet. Okay, let's see what it sounds like on top of this off. Yeah, you definitely hear it louder, but it's just moving so much more air. It definitely gets louder, but it's just moving so much more air, so of course it's gonna be louder. We'll try it again. Try it from another angle. Okay, I'm vacuuming. This thing's quiet enough, I don't know if you can tell. I can hear my radio, it's over there on top of the charger. That yellow the wall radio, I can hear it. So anyway, I can listen to my radio while the vacuum's running. I found something I don't particularly like about the vacuum. I wish the slip, the hose should have a, a slip joint, you know? Otherwise they tangle up, and the slip joints on this end, it's not real stiff enough, so it kind of works good. I wish they had them on both ends. 
but it does work. I mean, it's just a matter of, see, now I got this kink in the hose. And that's just a little bit of a pain. I wish the slip was up on this end. Then I'd slip it. It's down there, and it does, it does turn. You, I don't know if you can see it turn or not. Just, uh, just one little complaint I do have about this awesome Vac Master. Anyway, there it is, guys, the Vac Master Beast. My favorite part about it is it's quiet. I don't feel like my ears are going to start bleeding. The Craftsman's were really loud. I mean, they work really well. This one, I think, works a little better, and it's quiet, too. Just my opinion. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.